how we can hone in on it with a, a pipe mic. We already found this leak already, um, but we're going to just do a demonstration and let you listen to the sounds of what it's going to actually sound like. So, this is the regular pool scope that we're using. We set it up. We turn it on. We get everything, everything, all our volume adjusted. Drop it in, and what you're hearing is the actual sound that's about about eight or nine inches back. And we're going to cut the deck after, and we're going to do a demo on actually showing where it where it is. So um, now we're going to use the pipe, pipe mic. mic. Uh, once we again we located it with the pool scope, and we checked out everything else in the pool as well. And now we're going to use the pipe mic to know exactly how far back it is because when you send this mic up and you get right over the leak, you're going to know 100% uh, when, when you're right over it, it's, it's, it's loudest. And again, we're going to introduce the sound as well. So we're going to fire everything up. And one thing you have to know, this is very, um, this is minimally invasive. Uh, you don't have to take a lot of jets off. Um, you don't have to, again, just using the pipe mic in a static situation like this, you don't have to put it under pressure. You don't have to cut pipes at the pump. You're just listening under the, the weight of the water, the weight of the pressure that's in this pool or spa that you're working with. So. so now you're in. It starts to get loud. And right there, we're over the loudest part. So this is a, uh, a Venturi uh, line that we found, a leak with the pipe mic, and we're just getting it under a little bit of pressure. Right now it's not even leaking static because the spa level is below the jet. But as soon as it primes up, um, you'll see exactly where it's uh, leaking. So here's the old uh, Venturi that we cut out. You can see the actual crack. You want to bend it. It's ready to just snap. And that's where it was actually leaking. Here we're installing a plumber's loop. The Venturi is already in. And now we're just going to plumb up the air. So we just hooked up the last of uh, the plumbing. Uh, so you can see how we looped up the, uh, the water supply. And we looped the air supply because of lack of space. And as long as this uh, whole spa was plumbed hydro and it's hydraulically balanced right, and they, they did a plumber's loop going all the way around, this should be uh, the same amount of pressure with this jet as there are with all the others. So this is the poured concrete that was textured, and when it's dry, it should be consistent with the rest of the deck.